In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new PS5 ALLM setting for improved HDMI performance on PlayStation 5. With the new PS5 update, Sony added the option to enable or disable auto low latency mode within the PS5's video output settings. And with the ALLM feature enabled, you should notice reduced input lag and overall better responsiveness with PS5 games. To use ALLM for PlayStation 5, first go to your settings, select screen and video, video output, and make sure that ALLM is set to automatic. Your PlayStation 5 will send a low latency signal through the HDMI output, and as long as your TV or monitor supports this mode, ALLM will be set to automatic, and the output device starts in auto low latency mode. If your television or monitor does not support the signal, you will see a message saying that your TV doesn't support ALLM. But it's also possible that the HDMI input you're using simply doesn't support low latency signals. You want to always make sure that your PS5 is connected to an HDMI 2.1 Port supporting 4K at 120Hz, and that the HDMI cable you're using is either the one that comes included with your PS5 or is another HDMI 2.1 cable. And if you're like me and also have a Sony television, make sure that your HDMI signal format is set to enhanced VRR. Lastly, a couple things to remember when using auto low latency mode is that the PS5 does not send a low latency signal when a media app is running, so expect ALLM to automatically disable when using a media app such as Netflix. Another thing is that ALLM will usually force your TV into game mode, which does limit a number of adjustable picture profile settings. So if you're someone who prefers to use additional picture processing settings through your television, specifically while gaming, then it might be best to leave ALLM disabled. But now you know how to get better gaming performance on PS5 using the auto low latency feature. Leave a like rating if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.